Impact Music Young boy, 18, by the name of KC He was in and out of trouble, familiar face of the Welcome back to Quarter Water TV Here we go, we back with another one Before we start, you know the drill I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, share You know all the rest of that good YouTube stuff See what we got today, man. Let me light up, man, first, man. All right. So today, I want to talk about China Mac, Troy Ave. I, I, this, this beef, I don't really understand it, for real. Like, Well, I kind of understand it, I guess because... China Mac has a thing against rats. I do too. Like I ain't gonna front. I do not like people that be snitching. Like if you do, if you do something, just go to jail for what you did. Don't be telling on dragging other people down with you and all that stuff. So I get it. Like so, but just the thing, I don't understand how it got to this. Troy Ave somehow he disrespects china mac to the point where china mac feels like he needs to pull up on troy ave not the person the street like i guess where troy ave the rapper used to hang out or says he used to hang out so he pulls up over there i mean it was it was it was niggas outside i ain't gonna front like it was niggas outside. So I can't I can't act like he did it early in the morning or late super late at night with nobody out. He did it like it was people outside. It was mad cars outside. So I don't I don't this one thing, let me say this. I don't think China Max soft. I don't think he's soft at all. But I'ma tell you I'm a, I'ma tell you my issue with him. It ain't really an issue. It's just a little uh, confusion to me. Like, I'm show you where I'm confused at. China Mac, you say you you grew up around black people. You was in the culture, the culture or whatever. You was in the culture, and so on and so forth. But this is the part that confuses me. If you was in black culture, how you end up in a Chinese gang? I've never seen that. Like now, Chinese people don't mingle like in general. Like especially Chinese gangs do not mingle with black people. So how did you end up in a Chinese gang? If you saying you grew up all around black people and it's how you talking. That's the part that it'd be a little confusing to me. Like your father was in a Chinese gang. You said he you said your father ratted too. That's probably why you you feel what I'm saying? That's probably why China Mac got some kind of issues with uh people that be snitching. Cause his father told. You know what I'm saying? And that's coming from his mouth. That ain't me slandering a man or nothing like that. He said that that his own father cooperated with the feds. I think it was the feds against a uh, a Chinese gang. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Chinese gang China Mac was is in or was in was rivals to the gang that his father was in. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to the Troy Ave thing. China Mac goes to Troy Ave hood. Standing Troy he taking uh video. He's I I guess he was live. I don't follow China Mac on Instagram. I just seen this clip on YouTube somewhere. Like he he's he's live, he's out there asking Troy Ave pull up and you can't go back to your neighborhood, which I probably believe. Cause what a lot of people probably forgot about was after when when Troy Ave got shot the second time, when he was in that car, he was in, I forgot what kind of car he was, and he told that uh, weird story on <laughs> on a Breakfast Club how he was he yo one thing I hate about Troy Ave man that's this. This is a thing China Max said too that I agree with. He said, uh, Troy Ave, you a tough rat. 
And ain't nothing worse than a that's real, man. Ain't nothing worse than a tough. You snitch and then you come outside bragging about it, acting like you you tough. I you was shooting in a club, but you, what you was shoot this is the thing. Troy, when people be like, Oh, Troy I have this some gangster shit in the club and whoop de whoop de woo what was you shooting at? Tax Stone ain't get shot, so what you was shooting at? You might have been the one that shot all them innocent people. Who knows? Like you feel what I'm saying? Nobody don't know. Who knows? It's crazy. Like, what was you shooting at? Like, it's a crowd, it's a crowded club. You in a green room shooting. Like, you could have hit anybody and you still ain't hit the person you you so called att- I think you was just shooting, just trying probably knew it was cameras in there. You was just shooting, man. And you was scared. Like, you know what I'm saying? crazy man but china mac you go to his hood you 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 uh i think because there's a lot of black people that you know the street dudes on youtube a lot of a lot of them got a problem with china mac and i kind of understand why because it's like if you was around black people you would have been around black people you don't you don't say oh i grew up around black people and i joined a chinese gang that's crazy prime example all the white, all the white boys that I know that grew up around black people, they bay mothers is they bay mothers is black. You, you don't, you never see them with white. They, they, they act black. They hang around black people. They don't join, and if they join a gang, it's gonna be a black gang. They don't like, you feel what I'm saying? They don't. You can't say you can't be white and say, "Yo, I'm, I I grew up around black people and I hung around black people and I'm the culture and woo de woo de woo," and then join a white gang. It's crazy. It don't make no sense. That's the only thing that don't that that confuses me with China Mac when he says he grew up around black people. I don't know if I believe that. I, this this is what I believe. This is no disrespect to him. If you grew up in Flushing, Flushing is mad Chinese people in Flushing, mad Asians. No disrespect, but it's mad as Asian. You, you grew up in Flushing, right? Queens, right? I think you start you you came across black people because you was getting in trouble and you was getting locked up, and you know how that go. Like you go to jail, it's like all right, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You either get with it or get ran over. And I don't think you soft. And because you ain't soft, you probably started hanging around black people in jail. But in the street, I don't think, you feel what I'm saying? I don't think you was hanging around no black. Who? Bring, bring somebody that you grew up with, that you wasn't in jail with. I'm talking about grew up with them in the street. Now, I know jail stuff. Like, you got to show me, like. You feel what I'm saying? That's the that's the on, I think that's the only issue that you know the YouTube streets have with uh, China Mac, and probably some of us probably hate too. You feel what I'm saying? And some of it is the fact that whenever something comes out or some black people doing something to somebody Chinese, you want to speak about it, but you don't say shit when Chinese people be disrespecting black people. That's that's probably the biggest issue, like. You feel what I'm saying? And when 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 people was running around saying stop Asian hate, that shit is crazy to me. Like and and, and targeting uh black people saying black people got something against Chinese people or Asians, which is crazy because y'all make Asians make all their money in the hood. Like what? If we want, if if black people didn't want y'all there, we could easily just we could make y'all move, burn your store down, or something. Like we could easily make y'all move. It's not like you feel what I'm saying. I don't understand when people say that. That shit is weird. Chinese people, most Chinese stores are in the hood, man. You don't see Chinese restaurants in the suburbs like that. They in the hood, damn near on every corner, almost. Like you feel what I'm saying. It's like. Three, four Chinese places around here for it, where I live at. So people say what they want, man. But black people do not. We black people as a whole do not hate anyone. Like we don't have no derogatory terms for people like other people have for us. Like every if you notice every group of people, even some uh, black people that ain't from America, everybody got a term for uh, African-Americans. But we don't got no term or black people. 
not even just African. Everybody, every other culture has a term for black people, but we don't got no term for y'all. Like, ain't no Chinese, ain't no black, ain't no, ain't no slang word that that black people made up for Chinese. But I bet you, I guarantee you, there's a word Chinese people call black people. That's disrespectful. Get a hundred percent. Every culture has that. So. China Mac, if you see this, I think that's people issue with that. And if you can answer that question, please do. Like, what? Like, how? How did you? How did you grow up around black people and end up in a Chinese gang? And I, ne- I seen a bunch of interviews with you, and I've never seen nobody ask you that. I would like to know that, and I think a lot of people would like to know that. But the Troy Ave beef, that it ain't gonna go nowhere because the Troy Ave ain't. He ain't stupid. He not gonna get caught outside. He he! I don't think he gonna get caught outside, cause now you done took the stand. It's no telling. It could be a random person just want to do something to Troy Ave right now. Like you just never know. Like you a you a uh, a high profile rat. It happens, man. Troy Ave, man, you need to stop with the tough shit too, man. It's ridiculous and it's it, it is disgusting. So I do agree with China Mac. I just. I just wanted to explain why I think people got a got an issue with China Mac. You feel what I'm saying? But on that note, like, comment, subscribe. You feel what I'm saying? Share. I reply to anybody comments, and we out. Water gang. Maybach music. Young boy, eighteen, by the name.